Now this is how you can try QR activity on the Apple Watch. So a lot of people have purchased their Apple Watches to track their fitness levels and the exercise activity. So how does it work? Well, for this, you will use two main apps, which are already built in. The first one is this like ring looking color. You know, it has like three colors, the um, red, green and blue circles. So this is the activity app. And then you also have a green circle or icon with a person working out on it. And that is the workout app. So at first, when you go to the activity app, you can see and browse the rings for burned calories, minutes spent exercising and stand hours. Using this app, you will also be able to check out the daily steps, which is something a lot of people measure and also the distance covered on foot. So that's useful. And yeah, you will be able to see it in here, set up goals of how many calories you want to burn. And the full circle basically represents 100% of that. So you can visually see how you, well you are doing, right? So if you set a goal to burn 1000 calories a day, and you get to 500, the circle or ring will only be half completed, giving you a visual represent representation of how well you are doing. So this is the app which you use to generally track your fitness and health throughout the day. However, if you specifically want to start a some kind of workout, you know, if you want to go for a run, if you want to cycle, if you want to do jump roping, whatever it might be, you will need to use the other app for it, which is the workout app. And when you get inside in here, you can um, browse through the list of some usual workouts to check them out. But if you cannot find your workout at the bottom, you can click on the button to add new ones. And here is going to be a very extensive list of every single activity you might want to do, right? But when you click on it, you can just start measuring your specific things about that workout. So if you go and choose an outdoor run, it is going to measure your heart rate, the zones of your heart rate, the distance, pace, and all of the cool things which you want to keep track of when doing this type of exercise. So this is what you need to do. And one last thing which I'm going to explain in here are the different types of goals. Because if you go for an outdoor run, you can click on the three dots right here for more options and choose different goal types. So you can choose an open goal, which means that you want to go for a run for as long as you want and just have that analyzed. But you might also set a distance goal, which you choose in here and choose a specific distance you want to cover. You might also go for a specific time you want to spend on that exercise. And if it's a run or some different type of workout where it applies, you can also choose the pacer. You can also track and go for the calorie goal or even some custom ones are here. So very useful stuff. And this is how you can track the specific workouts and exercises on your Apple Watch. Okay, so that's going to be about it. I went kind of longer than I really wanted in this video, but I just had to explain all of the nuances. I mean, I could talk a lot more about this kind of stuff. So if you like what you see, most definitely subscribe for more tutorials and guys like this one. And I will see you later in the next videos.